So welcome back now to a new episode of Into Business. Um, with us, I'm very excited because we have a really cool guest here for you today. It's Paul Butnitz. He is the founder of this new social media platform called Ello. They reach just like 1 million users and they have 3 million people in the waiting row. Um, and they just reached also $5.5 million of investment. Paul, can you just briefly explain us what's really your dream for Ello? Uh, well, Ello is a so an ad-free social network. Um, we also created it uh, to be very simple and very beautiful. And the idea is to really uh, create a network that isn't run by advertisements or by advertisers and where user data is safe. Why is that so important to you? Uh, well, you know, the thing is that in, in a lot of ways, we don't consider networks that support themselves with advertising, especially networks like Facebook, to be social networks at all. We think of them as advertising platforms. I mean, really, if you think about it, the customer at a network like Facebook is the advertiser and the user is the product that's being bought and sold. Yeah. And for us, we just weren't using those networks anymore. They just weren't any fun. We felt manipulated and in the end, the product wasn't any good. Yeah. And so you really create this fun experience for people because it's, it's quite a, also a new look and feel, huh? Yeah, it's totally new. It's very modern and very simple. It's also designed to act a lot more like an app and a lot le less like a website. I mean, because we don't really have to think about advertisers and we built this for ourselves. Initially, we built it just for ourselves and used it priv privately for a year. Um, we got to build the features that we wanted. And we don't have anyone looking over, over our shoulders saying we should do this or we should do that because it'll make more money for advertisers. Yeah. Hey, and tell me, because you, you guys are quite reinventing also the business model around social media. Yeah? You, you're looking more like an app store for social media? Yeah, app store and um, services and things like that. I mean, it's really very simple in a way. You get to use Ello for free as long as you want and you can occasionally buy something that will make your experience a little bit better and that's a way to support the network. Where, where should I think of? What kind of things can I buy? Uh, well, there are, there are all kinds of things. I mean, maybe the simplest one, one of the ones that's coming out earliest so you can understand the concept is that many people use Ello in innovative ways because you don't have to use your real name. And some people use it as a journal and some people use it for art projects and other people yeah. just use it like a regular social network. Well, what if you want two, what if you want to have two profiles and you want to log in to both of them from the same login? That's something we're going to charge probably a dollar for. Okay. So it's a, very, it's a simple thing. Not everyone wants it, but we think there are, well, actually we know there are enough things that everyone wants. There'll be little changes and you can pay a very small amount of money and, and that actually will uh, support Ella. Yeah, okay. Can you, can you give me one more example of, of these kind of app store things? Because it's quite an exciting thought. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll give you a really strange one. Um, we've had a lot of emails from people from Japan and also from Germany. I think this is a big trend there. That they want to see Ello uh, on a black screen with white writing instead of a white screen with black writing. So again, this is something we can charge 99 cents for. And it's for a small group of people that are really excited about it. And actually, it's not so small because we have thousands and thousands of requests for it. Ah, yeah. So that's also a total new uh, way of entrepreneurial thinking of how to build such a platform. Yeah, man. I mean, from where our perspective, you know, Vermont in the USA, where we're based and where I live, is the only state in the United States. Well, there's one other actually that doesn't allow billboard advertising. Yeah. We, you know, we we really believe that we can offer a much better experience. Well, we know we are because we're growing and it's working really well. Um, and get the advertisers and get all that data mining and data collection out of the mix that offers people a lot more privacy, and that really does matter. Yeah. We are building here this interconnection platform also really for the millennial generation. Do you think specific for millennials this whole thing around privacy and no advertisement is especially important? Millennials are, are really waking up to this before almost anybody else. So yeah, there's a giant influx. But uh, you know, Ello started out, as I said, as a private social network. We built it for ourselves. We didn't actually build it as a commercial platform first. And we used it for almost a year, and, and the first users on Ello were almost all designers and artists, because that's who we are. So um, it seems like that population of the create really a creative group of people of all ages is the very strong core of what's going on in Ello right now. Yeah. Hey, and Paul, can you can you give me some some small insights more in now the the number game also? Because I read like four or five months ago, you you guys had one million uh, um, subscribers. Huh? Um, uh, what's that number at the moment? You know, we're not we don't publish numbers for invitation only, but we're in many multiples of that right now. Okay. Oh, that's cool. And how is the active user rate? Is it a high active user level? 
Yeah, actually, what's kind of fascinating is the number of people that are just sort of dedicated to Ella. It's, it's this really wonderful. And, and the other thing that's most interesting for me is what a positive community it is. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, I, this is just an anecdotal thing, but, um, you know, I have hundreds of thousands of people following me because I'm one of the founders. Yeah. And you would think I would have to delete people saying bad things every so often, like every other social network. But I've deleted, I think, one comment in the history of Ello so far underneath my posts. I mean, most of the things that people write are positive or interested or uh, engaged. It's just like, it's, it's really awesome. Great. So you just uh, raised uh, quite a new investment. Um, what are you going to do with that? Well, you know, compare. I think someone compared our entire the entire amount of money we've raised to the amount of money that um, Twitter spends a year on coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so we're uh, we're building the network. Yeah. Really, we're we're building new features. Ello is still in beta, and uh, you need an invitation from someone who's already on the network to get on, and that's a way for us to protect ourselves because there's so much interest that um, we're just keeping it from growing too fast. Yeah. Can you tell me what's uh, what's your dream in the end? Uh, do you see yourself competing really with Facebook, or uh, should you always be a boutique kind of social network? Um, I, I don't. We don't. Again, like we don't really consider Facebook competition. We don't, and we're not actively saying people should leave Facebook or anything like that. It's we don't really consider it a real social network at all. So for us, we're just trying to build the best social network that we ourselves want to use. And that's already working. We have so many people doing so many wonderful things on it. We're just excited. Yeah. Hey, and Paul, just as a last, last question from an entrepreneurial stand of view. You are a CEO, of course, but I saw you have also a really cool bike company. Yeah? How, how is that a consideration? Because when I speak always with investors, they say always like you have to go full force for it. When do will we see you go full one on one for uh, Ello as CEO? Well, I'm full force with everything. You know, I lived in Amsterdam for almost a year and uh, started my bicycle company right after I came home. We build city bikes and I'm quite passionate about cycling. So uh, I have two companies. I have a lot of help for what I do and it seems to be working out great for everything. So until that is a problem, I'm just going to keep doing everything I do. Uh, great. Do you have a last advice for our uh, vlogging community? If you want to build a social network, what should you do? Yeah, you should. Um, not listen to everybody that says it's an absolutely stupid idea and that Facebook and all the other big social networks have already won. I think it's important that we're, that we're willing to take risks uh, even in the face of giant companies who seem to have um, taken over the entire market but may not be providing the best thing for everybody. Oh, great. Paul, thanks so much. I really uh, enjoyed this conversation. Yeah, and to uh, all people uh, at home watching, uh, keep watching Into Connection for more inspiring stories like this. And uh, yeah, check out elo.co uh, and find somebody near to get your invitation.